What is up, Bruins fans? Today I'm bringing a clip from episode 363 of the Black and Gold Hockey Podcast. For host Sam Smith and Mark Allred, joined by a special guest, Kenny Kaminsky, discuss the recent PTO signing goaltender, Casimir Kaskasuo. So let's talk about this kind of out of the blue thing. Uh, a PTO being brought in of, uh, I'm going to screw this up. Actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> Casimir Kaskaso. I think I nailed it. Uh, on a Probably didn't. On a PTO, uh, goalkeeper. <clears throat> Uh, this was kind of a doozy. I'm not even going to lie to you. Did not see this coming, especially because, uh, I found it, the timing of this hilarious. And I remember posting when the, the PTO came out, is this Sweeney trolling the fan, trolling the media and the fans with this? Cause remember his comments about Swayman and everything. And then them bringing in a goalie on a PTO. I kind of felt it was a little bit of a troll from Sweeney, but Besides the point, Cascaso, pretty solid goal t- goalkeeper. Um, he's appeared in 108 career NH- AHL games, not NHL games. I don't think he's been in the NHL from as far as I'm aware. Um, AHL, uh, he played in 13 games with Lavelle Rocket last year. Um, we're posting a record of 7-4 and four with a 2.9 goals against average and a .909 save percentage. Uh he was originally signed by Nashville as a free agent in 2020. He's he's been in the Predators organization and the Canadians organization. Now he's getting a shot in camp to earn a job that is still up for grabs. Uh, with Swayman not being signed, you can't guarantee he's going to be there opening night. So it could be Corpusalo and Cascaso. He could beat out Bussy. I don't see it, but you never know. As your starting goal, as your goaltending tandem to start the season. So, Kenny, I'll start with you. Is this Sweeney playing defense to try to make sure that they have enough goalies for their opening night for the roster if Swayman doesn't sign? Uh, listen, I, I don't know, but uh, I I woke up to this news and I was pretty excited because I really like Casimir Kaskasuo. And Sam, you did a pretty good job on the name. I've seen a ton of uh, you know videos where people just absolutely butcher his last I'm not name. A word guy. I'm not a yeah. word guy. I'm not going to even try it. So, uh, you know, I thought it was great. Uh, last year he did play, he had a PTO with Laval and he was pretty good. Uh, the two seasons before he played in Sweden, he was trying to earn his way back to the NHL. And the reason I know so much about this guy is because he's a, he's kind of a black sheep of, of sorts where he shows a lot of his personality. He has a YouTube channel. He's really big on social media. Oh yeah, I think his YouTube has like 65,000 subscribers where he takes you through the days. It's super cool. I highly recommend, you know, everybody watch, but, um, yeah, last season, I, you know, I felt like he played pretty well. I don't know how how the Rocket did. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. It's crazy. He's, it is. It it you know, it's you don't see a lot of it. You don't see a lot of players taking it to YouTube. But um, yeah. So he st- he went to uh, Minnesota Duluth. He had two really good seasons, and then he was signed to Toronto. And he did play. He did appear. He didn't start in those games, but he he played one. Uh, in Toronto and then he played one in Nashville in that season where they had the taxi squad. So he was a part of the taxi squad. So he was only able to move on the, uh, the emergency basis. But I think this is a really good signing because if you have Bussy and Corpus uh, in Boston opening night, you could have Cascasuo kind of be a veteran in the AHL for whoever else is going to be his partner. And, you know, the AHL season is a lot more grueling. Like you see the, the, you know, the three games and three nights, you're going to have to switch up your goalie and having a goalie like him, you know, who's already been through all this, you know, he could, he could really steer the ship in Providence if something goes wrong. It's an insurance policy, right? Exactly. Yeah. That's kind of what I think. Um, I I think that this, this goaltender coming in on PTO is going to push net minders like uh, Michael DiPietro and Brandon Bussey. And uh, I don't think that he's there to push uh, a veteran goaltender like uh, Eunice Coposalo, Uh, but they're all going to be in competition. um, You know, but I also think that this is a move that the Bruins did, a smart one, um, because what if um, a goaltender is claimed on waivers? Um, you know, like my, if Michael DiPietro is sent down, who I think will be, he's going to require waivers. Um, and if he gets claimed, this might be an insurance policy for Don Sweeney and Bruins, uh, the management, to uh, sign to uh, an AHL or an NHL two-way and have him go down and work with 
Um, uh, Brian DPH. Bichel, I, oh, yeah. I would guess, if DPH will get freaking claimed, though. You know, you, I don't know. It, it, it's, it was a weird move, to be honest with you, but I can see him being a guy that could be readily available if one of the goalies is claimed. And, and, and again, if people don't know, if Brandon Bussey doesn't make the NHL squad, he's waiver eligible as well. So we'll see how that, ha- how that goes. Who knows? Sign Swayman, please. Just do that. That's the number. Yeah. <laughs> just, just get it done. Please. Both sides. Please. I'm begging. Just so the fan base can shut up. Anyways. Um, so it's an insurance policy. Bringing in a Kaskasuo. Nailed it. Never going to get it right. Kaskasuo uh, coming in on a PTO in Boston. Going to try. Going to play the preseason. Hopefully we actually see him actually in a game at some point during the preseason. Like what you saw? Be sure to come back next week for episode 364 of the Black and Gold Hockey Podcast for real Sam Smith and Mark Allred. We'll preview the 2024-2025 regular season. See you then.